Shonen Jump's newest hit, My Hero Academia, has been sweeping the world by storm. Considering the insane popularity of its anime adaptation, a video game tie-in would be inevitable. My Heroes won justice, and for some reason there is no Academia in the title, which beats me as to why, is the video game adaptation that fans have been anticipating. While many will expect this game to go plus ultra, it is nothing more than a serviceable distraction at best. One's Justice is an open arena 3D fighter in which two characters battle it out until one's HP is depleted. Like most fighters in the genre, linking out combos is as simple as pressing a simple button repeatedly, but the system does have some variation to it. For example, if an enemy blocks combos regularly, an unlockable attack can break his or her defenses. While each character has a meager moveset of a little over 10 attacks, it does make the game easy to grasp, especially those who are new to the genre. But the main drawing point isn't just the regular attacks, but the special ones. Each character in My Hero Academia has their own quirk, a special power that can assist them in battle. For example, Tokoyami can summon a sentient shadow creature to help him attack enemies from afar, Todoroki can freeze enemies, Yao Yorozu can create stun bumps to stop enemies in place, and so forth. While some quirks fare better than others, even the ones who have generic ones that boost strength like All Might have some neat moves to perform like a barrage of punches. Despite the inherent simplicity of the combat system, the battles in the game are incredibly flashy. A lot of the attacks feature anime-style speed lines and even comic book words that pop out that illustrate sound effects. If two characters happen to perform a combo simultaneously, an epic clash will occur, in which two characters trade punches so fast that only the faster masher will prevail. Each character can also use two sidekicks that can be summoned to use their respective quirk in order to assist in the middle of a battle once their bar fills up. And lastly, each character has their own unique plus ultra gauge with three levels, and several special tasks can be performed. Level 1 attacks are usually quick and effective way to get the upper hand, while level 2 attacks can be glorious finishing moves that can end a fight decisively. The level 3 plus ultra attacks are probably the strongest since you get to use your sidekicks, but they're also the hardest to execute because they often miss, and it takes quite a while for the bar to fill up in the first place. The game features a story mode, and it is an abridged retelling of the event starting from the midpoint of season 2 of the anime up until the midpoint of season 3. The story is told via comic book panels, combined with narrations from the various characters. While the Japanese cast does a great job as always, unfortunately fans of the dub will be saddened to hear that there is no English track option. The main problem of this story mode is that by starting at the midpoint, not only is it a jarring intro, but it also alienates newcomers to the franchise since there is little to no context to the prior events of the story before the first chapter. In addition, while it is nice to play various characters throughout the story, there are many moments where the same character has to fight the same enemy over and over again, making the story mode feel like a complete chore. I guess the reason why the story mode is kinda gimped is because Season 1 wasn't really battle heavy, and we don't even have all the characters from Class 1A. Because I know that all of you wanna play as Coda, and I'll be shocked if you actually knew his name without me showing you a picture. The best chapters are by far the what-if scenarios, and those take place outside of the story's canon. It lets characters that otherwise get no screen time a chance to shine. While there are different paths of the story mode and some little surprises, its haphazard storytelling and tedious progression makes it more of a drag. Mission mode fares a tad better. Players choose three characters that must complete challenges in the form of a game board-like map. Battles also may have some unique conditions, such as limited time or enemies having boosted defense. The catch is that HP doesn't replenish after each battle, though there are some items that can assist with recovery for the price at a higher score at the end. Each victory grants characters experience points that allows them to level up to become stronger. This may sound good on paper, but the later challenges are so ridiculously difficult to the point that players must grind the same battles repeatedly just to stand a chance at the later challenges. Another neat little distraction is the character customization feature. While you can't create your own hero, cause it's not Soul Calibur after all, it is neat to dress up your favorite character with a selection of offbeat knickknacks or some unique outfits. 
A lot of the items must be unlocked by meeting certain conditions throughout the game's modes. In addition, winning battles grants coins, and with those, players can buy items or other things such as voice clips or custom titles for online play. Graphically, the game definitely captures the show's spirit. Character looks faithful with their cell shaded look, and their animation is spot on. The environments, sadly, fare much worse, as not only they lack detailing textures, but some of them look so similar they just blend to one another. The game runs smoothly with little to no frame drops, which keeps the action fluid and exciting. My Heroes 1 Justice is clearly a game that's first and foremost for the fans of the show. While this statement might be obvious, it is more important to note because the story mode assumes players have watched at least 26 episodes of the source material and thus alienating newcomers. It's a shame because the comet is incredibly accessible and even those who haven't been watching the show could easily get into it. Even if it's not the most complex or the most polished, the fast pace and lavish moves make it incredibly entertaining. At the end of the day, those who are expecting the game to be in the caliber of All Might should probably expect a game that is more alright. Thank you very much for watching guys, and I'll see you all next time. Take care.